सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन ओके सो इन अवर लास्ट प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल ऑफ द सब्स रिलेटेड टू डी एफ टी आई डी एफ टी सर्क्यूलर कन्वोल्यूशन मैट्रिक्स मेथड फॉर्मुला मेथड ऑल ऑफ दम एंड वी हैव सॉल्व मेनी मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड बिलीव मी गाइज दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी ईजी बट इट इज a little bit tricky if you don't understand it it would it would be a problem for you guys okay so whatever i tell right please note it down very carefully listen to it very carefully observe the video very carefully and then uh, you can solve it it is my guarantee okay this these kind of problems are there right this can be solved using within half a page or within a page okay one page is sufficient this is not a lengthy problem at all but in that one page there are many much things to do in that okay let us uh, see that so the topic name is efficient computation of dit hyphen fft algorithms or radix to fft algorithms okay so what is this dit dit stands for decimation in time okay decimation in time where we are going to see the signal in various time intervals and how that signal is varied with respect to this discrete fourier transform okay and this fft stands for fast fourier transformation the word itself this fast fourier transform where in this case the dft is obtained in a very quick manner without uh, having much steps in the problem that's why it is named as fast fourier transform decimation in time fft algorithm so it is also called as radix 2 fft algorithms where radix 2 stands for 2 to uh, to the base n okay 2 power n so i am going to explain this 2 power n when i draw the structure so these kind of problems has one similar pattern or a similar structure okay that is compute so, so i am going to explain this with one question here one simple question okay Compute the DFT of x of n that is forty four twenty two thirty three thirty three twenty two using DIT FFT algorithms. Okay, so now how to start these kind of problem is so here first check the length of the sequence. In these kind of problems, the length of the sequence would be either four or eight. Okay, either it would be four point uh, DFT or either it would be eight point DFT. Rest any other point DFT won't be asked. Only four point or eight point DFTs will would be asked in these kind of problems. Okay, keep it in mind. So first thing here you can see that this is a four point DFT. So n is equal to four, right? So whenever we have four point DFT or eight point DFT, simply first step what we should be doing is draw four parallel lines like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. So here this is four points. So I've drawn four lines here. Okay, this is the input side. this is the output side okay so in play in case of dft in input sides you write x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 all the x of n values okay so in, it's in the sequence x of 0 is 44 so highlight it by just circling it okay i have tell you why 22 33 34 okay and in the output side would be its dft okay so dft of x of 0 is capital x of 0 right sorry guys i made one mistake here so in the input side the order of the sequence won't be continuous that is 0 1 2 3 it, it won't be like that in case of these kind of problems in the input side how we should be writing is Since it is radix two, right? Two power n, so we need to be making a pair of two lines here. Okay, whenever we have four point sequence, make a pair of two lines. And here, in the first pair, only the even number of terms would be there, and in the second pair, the odd number of terms would be there. That is, if this is x of zero, so next term that is x of one would be in the next set. Okay. that is the first starting point of the next set of pair that is here would be x of 1 then here we would be writing the next number that is x of 2 and here we would be writing x of 3 okay so that is one mistake guys so sorry for that okay yeah so in this case x of 0 first write it as 44 then x of 1 write it as 22 x of 2 33 x of 3 22 okay 
so please make that correction guys uh, sorry it's i mistake and in the output side it remains the same the sequence won't change that is x of 0 x of 1 capital x of 2 and capital x of 3 okay these and all are the terms okay now the part here is how to draw the structure so structure is very simple guys for 4 point dft how we should be drawing is i have told you right radix 2 means we should be starting from 2 power n that is 2 power 1 2 so 2 set of pairs we should be taking first and we should be drawing arrows like this okay this is for first set this is for second set okay first thing we should be drawing the pair of 2 arrows like this okay and where this downward arrow is there right in that in which line it touches right in that line you should be writing this here it has minus 1 similarly here minus 1 this is common for all these kind of problems whenever wherever the downward arrow touches the in, in which line it touches at that line you should be drawing one arrow here and it should be representing it as minus 1 okay and here at the input side right wherever where this the upward arrow starts right in these two points those two points the values is represented as w2 to the power 0 w2 to the power 0 okay why because why this is w2 because this is base 2 right first we are considered the set of 2 so w2 to the power 0 w2 to the power 0 that is equal to we can directly write it as 1 because w power 0 is 1 right so that's why these two terms are 1 okay this is first one step the next step is we should be drawing four lines okay a set of four set of two is done now a set of four that is all four lines together that is from the third line okay drop up an arrow from till the first line and from the fourth line draw an upward arrow and it should be touching the second line similarly from the first line draw an arrow downwards to the third line and from the second line draw an arrow downwards to the fourth line and wherever the downward arrow touches from that line you name it as minus 1 okay then wherever the input points are there of the upward arrow that here now it is w4 to the power 0 and w4 to the power 1 because this is one set so that's why the power should continue here one is w power 0 one is w power 1 for the 4 point dft okay so this 2 represents for 2 point dft and this 4 represents for 4 point dft so we know that in case of 4 point dft w power 0 is equal to 1 and w power 1 is equal to so in that matrix you've seen right that is 1 minus j minus 1 plus j right in the first column we have right 1 uh, 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 minus j minus 1 j minus 1 1 minus 1 j minus 1 minus j so here these are the values of w 0 1 2 3 right in 4 cross 4 matrix we have seen right so if this is w 0 then this is w 1 so here we should be writing in place of these terms 1 is 1 highlight it circle it okay and 1 is minus j okay so this is the whole structure of one simple 4 point dft so now how to uh, get the answer for this very simple guys what we should be doing is now start from here now let's start from here 44 okay this 44 now moves in this line and it touches and he, from here it goes down similarly this 33 uh, moves in this line first let us consider 44 till here okay I'll tell you why first let us consider this 44 it moves in a straight line okay here we have 44 this moves here and from here 33 okay it comes till here and from this point it jumps over here and it meets here okay so whenever we have two values meeting together we should add them okay that is 44 and 33 they are meet at this point so 44 plus 33 we should be doing that is equal to 77 this is actually 44 plus 33 into 1 because when we see this path right whenever we have in one single path whatever numbers or any terms are there those those terms would be getting multiplied okay whenever we have any numbers in the path not in this point 
whenever we uh, whenever two numbers meet at a particular point those two would be added and in a particular path which and all are the numbers which are getting meeting those two would be getting multiplied okay yeah so that's why we got here 77 at this point Ma highlight it similarly now for downward arrow consider this 33 and till here till when 33 reaches here what and all are the terms here uh, in the path we have 33 1 minus 1 so 33 into 1 into minus 1 that is minus 33 right and here this is one a value and one more value is this 44 this 44 from this point it comes down and that would be getting added up so 44 minus 33 that is equal to 11 right so these two are the values at this point similarly we should be doing for this here okay same thing first 22 and here we have 22 this 22 and this 22 from here it goes here we don't have any values in between we have this one so 22 into 1 is 22 itself so these two values would be getting added 22 plus 22 is 44 okay similarly here this 22 if it reaches here 22 into 1 into minus 1 that is minus 22 and here we have plus 22 from here it comes down so minus and plus it would be 0 right so these are the four values at the first stage we have got that is 77 11 44 0 so same thing continue for this stage that's it okay that is so now here we have 77 this 77 would be traveling here and it would be meeting here now 77 and at this point which value meets that arrow should be checking here okay that is this 44 so this 44 would be coming here and from here it will be jumping here that is 44 into 1 that is 44 itself and we have here 77 and do these two meet at this common point so these two would be getting added up 77 and this 44 that is equal to 121 okay so this is our first answer that is 121 similarly here this 11 11 and here we have 0 into 1 that is 0 itself okay 0 in this path so 11 plus 0 is 11 so second value is 11 similarly this 44 when it reaches here 44 into 1 into minus 1 that is minus 44 and here we have 77 which is coming here so that is plus 77 so 77 minus 44 is 33 okay so our third value is 33 similarly fourth value this is 0 into minus a and minus 1 is 0 and here this 11 is meeting here so we left with 11 okay so 11 is our fourth answer okay so like this these are the four values then simply write the sequence x of k is equal to 121 11 33 11 okay and here like this you would be getting the answer using dit f50 algorithm okay see here in half page you have completed this simple problem of four point dft if we solve this only problem in matrix method or uh, uh, formula method we would be taking around one and a half to two page right so here in this kind of problems they have we have solved this in half page only so hope you understood this this problem very well i've tried to explain it uh, as deeply as possible okay so now in this session let's solve this kind of problem where we are going to consider now an eight point dft okay that is very interesting and very tricky okay so now let's solve that problem okay you would, you would be understanding it very carefully my suggestion is to you all for eight point dft what how you should be drawing is like this keep the page like this and draw for eight point dft why because we need a sufficient space for that okay so hope you understood this problem let's solve that eight point dft problem now